Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing Paper Craft Society Box 43. Now, I think Craft Dash are keeping this a surprise because I haven't, or at least I haven't seen an unboxing or a, a box reveal from the lovely Lou Collins. So I've no idea what's in this one. I've, I don't even know who, who the designer is this time because we've not been told. Or if we have, I've not seen it. So this is going to be a complete surprise to me, at least anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this together and have a look to see A, who it is, and I was going to say what it's all about, but I'm guessing it's a floral theme because of these beautiful flowers on the box. Love this. We've got some lovely green foiling for the leaves. And it's the same all over. So, without further ado, as they say, let's open up and see what we've got inside. So, we have got, well, the lady's name is Kathy. So if I just open that up. Ah, so, today, or this month, it's by Kathy Andronicu. My apologies if I've mispronounced your name there and we started off with the book with the book so if I just slide the box to one side because the book was on the right on the top so let's just have a quick look so that's our lovely lady and we've got a welcome inside we've got all the contents of the box or what we should have in the box anyway so there we go we can have a look at that to make sure everything's there I'm sure it is and we've got some projects that looks nice i wonder how they've made that beautiful blooms i wonder how that's been made so we'll have to have a look at that i'm curious to see what's going on there and and how we do everything and that's nice i love that I'm going to have a go at that definitely and we've got some lovely projects and i like the, i love this layered so i'm wondering if we've got some papers there and uh, maybe some cutouts or die cuts we'll have to have a look and oh, I like that. Who's that done by? Oh, the lovely Glynis. Yes, she always does some incredible work. Love it. Oh, there's an interview by Kathy or with Kathy. So this is not a name that's familiar to me. So I'm looking forward to catching up to find out more about her because the work looks incredible. So without further ado, as they say, I'm going to slide back to one side and bring the box back in. And as usual, we're going to start with the wallet. Now we've got a wonderful wallet with all these lovely flowers. It's got to be a floral thing. And we've got the edge there, the lovely spine that says Paper Craft Society Box 43 and the designer's name. And what I didn't show you was here, we've got crafting is the best medicine for relaxing. Now, isn't that the truth? It always makes me feel better if I'm having a bad day. Unless, of course, the crafting session goes wrong, then it doesn't feel too good. But that's another story. So let's open up and have a look. And we're reminded and encouraged to share our makes with Paper Craft Society, however they turn out. And then we've got another message. When the skies are grey, I can rely on colour cards to brighten my day. Oh, that's nice. And then we have another a quote. Everyone has the talent to colour in. Just remember when we were children. Absolutely. And just love a bit of sparkle to brighten my day. Yeah, me too. I love a bit of sparkle too. In fact, I love a lot of sparkle. So let's start at the beginning. And we have, oh, we've got some dyes here. Now, what's this? Now, if I put, I've, experience has taught me we're going to need some white paper. So I've grabbed a bit of white printer paper from my office. Now, this is upside down. That's a great start, isn't it? So we've got one, this looks like a panel die. And perhaps these are flowers that we cut out. Not quite sure yet. So we have got some sentiments to go along with that. And we've got the, the outlines as well, the background. So this is wonderful. We've got, it's difficult to read backwards, but I'll have a go. Many thanks. Happy birthday. I think that says sending hugs. Congrats, as in congratulations. And love you loads. Oh, that's lovely. So this is about love and sending good wishes to people, I think. And it's absolutely wonderful. I love this panel. I'm looking forward to seeing how well that cuts out. And I see we have some stamps, so I'm going to pop that down and have a look at this. Now, now, I think that that is one big stamp. Let's just have a quick look. It is. So presumably we can cut out that stamp with that die. Shall we just have a quick look and see? Yeah, I think it's the same size. So 
once you've worked out which way it goes, I think you, we can cut this out in one go with this. So that'll be fun, won't it? Save a lot of work. Perhaps we could even cut out bits of it and do some decoupage. That could be fun too. And let's just have a look at some of the some of the sentiments. We have some more sentiments here. If I hold it up a bit, you can ho hopefully see it. Eat lots of cake and party. Now I like that. To you, with love, celebrate for your help, sending hugs for all you do. So we could mix and match these. So we could say sending hugs for your help or sending hugs for all you do with love to you. So we could have all, we could design our own sentiments depending on the occasion that we're sending our card for. So that is wonderful. So we'll put that back in there if it'll go. And we have got some, it looks like we've got some stencils. Now let's have a look. We've got yet more flower stencils. Ah, now these look like they're layering stencils. Let's just get them the right way. So that would be the detail one. That would be the shut, for example, the shadow. So presumably once you've worked out which way they go, that one would go over that one and you can layer them and do some layering stenciling. And of course, we've got the leaves. Absolutely fantastic. So, and there's more. So we have some papers here, which look absolutely gorgeous. I don't know yet whether they're papers or cards, but let's take them out and have a look, shall we? So I'm going to slide that to one side for now. And we've got, oh, it's quite thick. It's, uh, it's either a thick paper or a thin card. But it's quite, I would say it's about oh, 120 at least. But it's very pretty. And we've got more of these flowers and we've got some wonderful buds. And we've got some sentiments. I don't know whether they pop, they don't pop out, but we can cut them out. So we've got proud of you. Love your loads. I like that. Love your loads. I'm going to put that one on my beloved for his birthday next month. And we've got some more flowers. So there are some flowers we can cut out and some banners, some border strips. You did it. So if you know someone who's passed an exam or a driving test. And then we've got some backing papers. Beautiful. I love this watercolour effect. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've got another one. Now you could make two cards out of that. Cut it in half and use that half and that half for another one. So that's gorgeous. And again, these lovely watercolour. Absolutely fabulous. They're single sided, so you don't have to worry about which side you're going to use. You could even you could cut them out if you wanted to and use the flowers individually. And again, more leaves, more foliage. So soft. I absolutely love the softness of these images. Really gorgeous. And oh, look at that. Talk about from going from one extreme to the other. That's nice and bright and bold. So you could even cut some of those out and put behind some of these bolder images. And that would look really lovely. So that's everything in our wallet. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. I'm looking forward to learning more about this lady because I think her, her work and her products are absolutely fabulous. So we'll pop that back in there and we'll do a swap and we'll bring in the box so that we can see what lies beneath, what lurks beneath the tissue paper. I love that pink tissue paper. I love the colour. It is so bright, so bright and cheerful. How can you be uncheered by that? absolutely gorgeous so i'll tell you what we'll do so that the box doesn't knock the camera off its stand sorry about the rustling we'll just do a quick change of background color and open it up like that oh look at that it's all pink wonderful well nearly all pink so we've got some some ribbon some seam binding ribbon absolutely gorgeous so we can add that as an embellishment it looks like there's quite a lot there i'd say there's at least a meter maybe even a bit more I was looking at the thickness of how many times it's been wound around. Well, that was quite a lot there, very generous. And we have got some flat back pearls in green and again in pink. Absolutely gorgeous. We don't often get flat back pearls with Paper Craft Society. And I haven't got green. I've got plenty of other colours. I haven't got green though. So And they're nice and sparkly. They look like, like a pearlescent bead. So they're going to be nice for shimmer. If you like a bit of shimmer, that's the thing to add. And then, last but by no means least, I'm sure, we have our cardstock. Now, can I slide this off without tearing it? No, probably not. So let's tear it anyway. So we can always keep that. So this is our plain cardstock. So we've got pink, 
and it's this is double sided and I'm presuming it's a white core. It is, yes, it's a white core card. So we've got two as a pale pink, two of a brighter pink or bright pink or hot pink, whatever you like to call it. I would call it bright pink. And this beautiful mint green, absolutely gorgeous. And a very pale, like a pale lilac almost. So that's it. That's everything in our box. We can make some beautiful projects with that. And very shortly, I will be putting together a list of probably about half a dozen projects, which I'm going to share with you on this channel. So if I can get, there's not much to put back. And it's not a, it's not a difficult pack to put back. So I should be able to put this back reasonably neatly, she says, hopefully. So let's just fold that back up. It'll be nice to get everything back in one go. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it in there like that. It didn't go quite according to plan, but never mind. I'm going to slide the book underneath so that it doesn't get lost. It didn't all go back. I think I, I put it the wrong way around, but there you go. You get the idea. So I'm going to leave it like that with the lovely lady's name facing you. And that's it, guys. That is our Paper Craft Society Box 43 by Kathy Andronico. And I hope I've got your name right. And so I am looking forward to delving into this and having fun and making some projects with it, which I will be doing very shortly. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Do take care, stay safe, have fun, and as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.